everyone, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I guess this channel today should be called 50 Plus Beauty and Health because over the coming year I will be sharing information with you about ways in which I intend to improve my health. As those of you who follow my channel, you know that on August 15th last summer I had a stroke and I was very blessed in that I recognized the stroke right away, got right to the hospital, they gave me a clot busting drug, I had an actual stroke in the right hemisphere of my brain that, that damaged my left side, that's why I had my mouth like this, but I was fortunate that I got there quickly enough to have a clot busting drug, which was just great, and within a few hours I was back to my normal self, but as a result of that stroke, I have really been studying and studying and studying, viewing lots of science-related YouTube videos and listening to many audiobooks that say not only can a healthy diet and lifestyle stop the heart disease you have already, it can actually reverse your heart disease. So in a few years, the heart disease you have at this point can actually be reversed. And I'm so excited to bring you this kind of chatty video about where I am and where my thinking is now with regard to my health because I have a health improvement program that I will be embarking on and I hope that you'll follow along with me through the coming year as you and I can hopefully improve our health together. And before I get into that, I did want to briefly show you the outfit and jewelry I'm wearing today. I especially like this lipstick. It is a very wearable red. In fact, here my friend Terry is in the same lipstick and even though she's a dark haired, beautiful brunette, she also looks good in this lipstick as well. And if you're not yet a subscriber to 50 Plus Beauty, I hope you'll consider clicking that little bell. That will just send you email notifications of my future videos. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, that would be great too. Okay, let's get into this. And first I wanted to read to you a comment that sounds like a little bit of a negative comment, but it actually really, really helped me. It was a woman who basically was very concerned about my health choice of being a carnivore, of remaining on the carnivore diet. And here is what she said. It's from Christy16518, two months ago. She says, the animal hormones, cholesterol, and the salt is so bad for us. That is why she had a stroke, even though she's in great shape and quite young. Do not take advice from health from Beth. Makeup, yes. Clothing, yes. Diet, no. Not having puff in your face is not a health indicator. There will be another stroke, I'm afraid. Hair growing is not an indicator of health in older age. It's all about her exterior. Her interior is obviously not healthy. And it's funny because when she made that comment, I had just posted a video that I intended to remain on carnivore, but very quickly after that video, I got some news from my neurologist that really made me rethink this whole thing and I was actually in agreement with that comment. What had happened is I had the one stroke on August 15th and then I went to my neurologist and he looked at my brain scans and he said, Beth, I'm really concerned about you and especially about your high fat diet because not only did you have the one small stroke and it was a mild stroke, thank the Lord, but he said you also have five or six other white areas in your brain and those are signs of pinpoint mini strokes that really give you no immediate problems. You don't really have any side effects from those strokes, but over time your whole brain can become riddled with those small strokes and you can get dementia, you can get Alzheimer's, you can get all manner of problems if you don't change your diet. And that really concerned me and made me realize that I really shouldn't listen to these YouTubers, even if they are a doctor or a cardiologist, unless they have studies that show the carnivore diet actually reverses heart disease, I want no part of it because I believe that due to my high fat diet for the past seven years, I was paleo first, then keto, and then very high fat on the carnivore diet, only ate animal products and dairy products, lots of butter, that kind of thing. After the scientist I've been following and the research I've been doing, I have really come to believe that those animal-based diets are terrible for us. And if you have any question about that, please watch the documentary Forks Over Knives. And I will link that video below because it contains some eminent researchers in the heart disease reversal area and it gives compelling research that a whole foods plant-based diet is what you need to be on to not only stop your heart disease 
but to reverse your heart disease entirely. Let's get into this and I've made myself some notes because I don't want to forget to tell you anything that I plan to be doing in the coming year because I'm going to be devoting 2024 to really creating a healthier lifestyle. And if you, like me, suffer from heart disease, if you've had a heart attack, a stroke, if you have diabetes, any of those things, those things can be reversed through the proper diet and proper lifestyle, things like exercising a bit, getting good sleep, that kind of thing. And I will say that on my channel, one of the slogans is, let's make our second half the best half. And I have to admit, in some ways, I thought that was baloney. Because when I just have a beauty-related channel, you know, we're getting older and it is very hard to continue looking good as we age. And I will say that along with the idea of making our second half our best half, I kind of always thought that was a bit of BS because I watched Alan's parents, Don and Darlene, the best people known to man. Both Don and Darlene ate the standard American diet all of their lives. And I will say that in the last 15, 20 years of their lives, they started to suffer from the standard diseases that we all in America tend to suffer from. Heart disease is our number one killer. Strokes are right up there. Diabetes is there. Basically, these are all lifestyle related diseases that in large part, I now believe are caused by diet. And there are many countries in the world that don't even have heart disease. You guys, they don't have diabetes, they don't have heart disease, they don't have strokes. If you were a cardiologist and put out your shingle there, you would starve to death because they don't need stents, they don't need heart transplants because people stay heart healthy there in large part due to their diet. And I have since learned that there are no long-term studies on the carnivore diet, the keto diet, or even the paleo diet, that all of those diets, while they have anecdotes of people that feel good on the diets, there were no long-term studies, and I was really looking for a diet proven to reverse heart disease. Proven. And if those carnivore YouTubers out there can show me science that proves the carnivore diet actually reverses heart disease, then I'll stand up and take notice. But until then, as my life is literally in my own hands now, I have to be very serious about my dietary choices. I choose to go with proven diets that reduce heart disease. And there is only one of those out there, and that is the whole foods plant-based diet. And I've actually made a couple of videos already. I made them just before Christmas. One of them is about a program I'm embarking upon. December 8th, I started the program. It's with Dr. Esselson of the Cleveland Clinic and his program is actually proven to reverse heart disease, and I'm going to have some videos about that in the new year, but I did want to sneak in here and just give you a chatty video about where I am right now and give you an overview of my plans for the coming year. And I've been on that plant-based diet for the last two and a half months, and in that time, my cholesterol has really plummeted. My LDL has gone way down. My total cholesterol has gone way down. I'm almost in the heart attack free zone, which is just wonderful. And another thing I will be doing in the coming year, in addition to following that plant-based diet, is that I no longer eat salt. And amazingly enough, I've had maybe the last month is all that I've gotten rid of the salt, which is what Dr. Esselstyn's program recommends. And again, keep following my channel because I'll have an in-depth video about Dr. Esselstyn's heart disease reversal program and how to do it, basically. But since I've quit salt, my high blood pressure, which I did have high blood pressure, the systolic blood pressure I had was usually in the low 140s. Now it is much lower than that. In fact, here's the look at my blood pressure this morning. And as you can see, it's 107 over 71. My blood pressure has come down in a beautifully normal range and I'm on no drugs at all for blood pressure. In fact, the only drug I'm on is a baby aspirin as a result of the stroke, but I'm off all of my meds and I really credit my blood pressure improvement with the whole foods plant-based diet, which is also low salt, which is great. Another thing I'm going to be doing is stepping up my exercise. And you may wonder how I figured out the various things that I'm going to be doing in the coming year to avoid a second stroke. And I'll link an article below from the Cleveland Clinic and they have an excellent article on the steps you should take to avoid a second stroke. And I'm not even mentioning smoking or drinking because I do neither of those things. But if you're a smoker or a drinker, you really ought to consider getting rid of the cigarettes and the drinking. 
And also from the Cleveland Clinic article, they said to avoid a second stroke, they recommend two and a half hours a week of aerobic exercise. And as many of you know who follow my channel, I have been weight training for about the past probably five years, five mornings a week. I, I'm continuing my weight training and I'm adding into that a seven day a week cardio session, which takes me about 22 minutes. I go two miles on the elliptical and I'm really enjoying that. But the Cleveland Clinic says your aerobic program can be even as simple as a walking program. And I'll probably also be doing some walking videos on my channel because especially once the weather warms up, I would really like to get into walking with Alan. I think that would be great. And another thing I'll be doing in the coming year is embarking on a sleep improvement program. Studies show that you must have seven to eight hours of sleep or you start to experience some really serious health problems. And I will put a link to a video below and also an audiobook that I've been watching. And it is really compelling when you learn the scientific research behind the benefits of sleep. And the fifth thing I'll be doing is finding ways to improve my social connections with other people. Loneliness, it turns out, is actually a killer. It is terrible for our health. They say 50% of people in America are lonely and that being lonely is equivalent to the dangers of smoking 15 cigarettes a day. It is so important for us to have others in our lives, to reach out to others, to keep up our social contacts. And I will be doing some videos about that. And in fact, loneliness is such an important problem that our new attorney general, that is his number one program, the number one goal of his administration is to help us all reduce the loneliness in our lives because it is so bad for our health. And the last thing I'll be doing in the coming year, and I've already done this, but I did stop my hormone replacement therapy. There is a big study that I'll be explaining in a future video about the dangers to sustained use of hormone replacement therapy. The idea now is that if you have hot flashes, you should use it just for the amount of time you need it to get rid of those hot flashes but then you should go off of it as soon as possible. And to make the decision to do that, I did contact my OBGYN. I called his nurse. She talked with the doctor and I explained that I had a stroke and I asked if I should go off my HRT. And the doctor said that would probably be a pretty good idea. Well, thanks for being here with me for my chatty video about where I am now regarding my health. And if you have any opinions about my health journey and if you'd like to see it on video, please let me know in the comment section below the video. And I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and I thought this was a very good one. It says a healthy lifestyle leads to improved health, stronger immune system, weight loss, loss in inches, positive attitude, better outlook on life, more energy, enthusiasm, and joy. And I'm so excited about learning more about improving my own health and sharing that information with you. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.